So this video will take you through HLOOKUP in uh, Microsoft Excel. So we have already learned VLOOKUP in my previous video. Now this video will take you through HLOOKUP. If you can see the syntax, the syntax was as similar as XLOOKUP, just that in the place of VLOOKUP, you have just mentioned H. So VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP in terms of syntax and in, in terms of usage is absolutely same. Just that we'll mention V there and we'll be mentioning H here. But VLOOKUP is just used for the database that is populated in the form of columns, whereas HLOOKUP is used in the databases that are populated in the form of rows. So VLOOKUP is applied vertically and HLOOKUP is applied horizontally. That's the only difference we have. Otherwise, the rest of the formats, understanding of the lookup value, all of these are absolutely same as VLOOKUP. So without any further delay, I'll just take you through how to apply VLOOKUP in MS Excel. So here we have a simple database. You can see that usually these are the columns in general in the databases, but here the variables are mentioned in the horizontal way instead of product being here. So usually what used to be the database format, it should be like this in general. Database formats are used to be like this and here we used to enter data. But now what happened, the database is created differently. So we have got product column here, product variable here, name here, price here and stock here. We already have product ID, we have product name. We just need to extract price here and we need to extract stock here. Now that the lookup has to be applied horizontally, instead of vertical lookup, we have to use horizontal lookup, that is H lookup. So the way of using a V lookup and H lookup is absolutely same. So equals to here we have to use H lookup. So I'll mention HL. H lookup is ready. Click on tab. And then you need to search what? You need to search product ID, comma. Where you have to search? You have the H lookup stock and price here. So I need to search from product ID one. And I need to search for the price here. So two columns, two rows I have to select, comma. In which row I have the price? I have to rise in row number two. And do I need exact matching? Yes, I need to have exact matching. So zero, close. You see that the pricing is there already. You just need to drag towards right and the formula is applicable. The lookup, horizontal lookup is applied to other variables. In a similar way, I can also apply H lookup to stock equals to H lookup. Again, search through the product ID, comma, I have them here. I need stock, so I'll be selecting uh, till stock. And stock is in third row. So comma, I'll mention column index number as three. Comma, I need an exact match, I'll mention zero. Close the bracket, enter. So now drag this till the end, and then you see that the H lookup is created. So it is as simple as it is. If you've learned V lookup, Applying HLOOKUP is act exactly the same way. The only difference, there you are applying lookup vertically, whereas here you are applying the vertical lookup horizontally, which is what that's called as VLOOKUP, and this is called as horizontal lookup. So that's about HLOOKUP. Uh, Let us understand XLOOKUP. Forget about the heading here. XLOOKUP, the syntax is slightly different if you see. You have in VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, you have lookup value and you have uh, lookup array, but here we have an additional return array. So this syntax is slightly different and the way you operate the formula is also very different. And this is very important uh, lookup function because the kind of errors we usually get when we use VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, those errors are over, overtook here by applying HLOOKUP because HLOOKUP works in a different way. So instead of explaining the syntax, I will directly show you Microsoft Excel window and show you how to use XLOOKUP there. So this is your Excel file where I have a database pertaining to XLOOKUP. And this is my uh, Excel sheet here. So what I need to do, I need to apply XLOOKUP and get employee ID and salary here through employee ID, I need to get a salary. We have done the same example before for VLOOKUP, but now I'm doing it the same for 
x lookup you see the syntax would be different so before that i'll just mention double line three five employee id for reference here and then i'll apply to get salary of that employee so equals to x lookup the moment i took excel i have x lookup there click on tab now x lookup syntax started so what is lookup value i wanted lookup value as employee id Usually we used to click on a particular cell name here. What I'm telling, I'm just mentioning the range. I wanted to actually search for this, right? I want to search for H5. So similar to what we have done with VLOOKUP, here also we are doing, I need to search for H5. Now Excel say Excel is instructed to search in H5. What is there in H5? there is double nine three five so now excel wanted to understand where it should search for this number so it i need this to be searched in a column a it will search so this is my lookup array it is only searching in column a comma what should i written what should it written so i wanted it to return what salary so i'll just go and click on the column called salary you're not selecting all the range here you're not selecting name and department yet. I need Excel to search the employee ID here and I need to get the relevant information here from this particular column. So A is the column where I, my employee ID will be searched and D is the column where the salary of the employee has to be searched. Comma. Now it will ask you if not found. Sometimes if you have an employee ID mentioned here in H5, already there is double line three. instead I'll, I'll mention some employee id which doesn't exist in the database in such case what should happen that you have to tell excel if there is no employee id exist in this database what do you want i'll just say mention not found so getting you this uh, employee name and performance score using xlookup i'll just go here to the joining date i wanted joining date here equals to click on employee id so i just need to mention xlookup i'm sorry xlookup what i have to search i have to search for employee id comma where should i search the question says search from sheet 2 go to sheet 2 from the sheet 2 what i have to search i have to search employee id so click on a comma return array which what do you want to return for the employee i need to return joining date so click on b comma if not found what I need to mention, you should mention not found. I need an exact match to press 0, close the button, enter. Now the things are similar, go here, give a double click, and the rest of the data is populated. Similar way, if I have to have a performance score equals to xlookup, employee ID, comma. Where I should search, go to sheet 2, I need to search an employee ID, comma, what I should return, I should return performance score, so I'll click on performance score column, comma, if not found, mention not found, as it is a text, I'm mentioning double quotes, otherwise I should be mentioning without double quotes. Then what next, comma, I need an exact match, mention 0. Close the bracket, enter. Now you have your location ready. Give it a double click, and you see that your performance scores are populated. In between, if you want to go and say any particular number as one triple double zero, I have changed this employee ID to 2000. I enter, now it is showing not found here, if you can see here. It is showing not found, because it is showing so, because in my sheet too, from where I've extracted the data, there is no employee ID with number thousand which is why it is showing not found otherwise it should have a very effective number so i'll just undo it because it was originally one five two zero so i'm sure you should have learned uh, how to use xlookup as per the convenience you can use vlookup or xlookup or hlookup based upon the need of the user thank you so much